Three, two, one, go. All right, so let's make something kind of cute and let's just keep it really simple. So let's use, uh, I guess the sphere is okay. I'm gonna flatten the sphere and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna take snap. So snap 90 degrees. I'm gonna use the green ring to bring it this way. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and validate that for now and we'll use move with symmetry and now we can sort of, I just want to make it sort of, um, oh, okay. All right. I guess I messed up the symmetry. Most likely. I did. So when I, when I uh, turned it, I changed the symmetry. So I'm going to go down to show line. So now we can see the blue symmetry is actually what we want now because I, I, I spun it. So now we're going to use the symmetry and I just want to bring it up like this. Maybe the bottom like that. Uh, and maybe this part, like the little, like, maybe we'll make a little, like, kind of flat butt type area, sort of. So let's bring it down. Oh, and we have to go here and also, also kind of spread it so it's not just, like, kind of pointy in the back. And I'm just kind of pulling it so it's, uh... So it's kind of spreading out towards the bottom where it's, you know, where it uh, meets the surface because that's just like more, more natural. So we can take, we could trim it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So let's hit right again and let's just trim this. So we'll take our trim tool and we'll use rectangle and we'll just trim. So we're on the sphere. We're just going to trim right underneath like so. And then we're going to voxel remesh this. So we'll voxel remesh it around 200. That'll sort of fix up the bottom. Uh, otherwise, it'll look funny. So now it looks okay. So then you just take smooth with symmetry on and you can just like kind of smooth everything out. Okay, we can hit solo again. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Like now we can use it as sort of like a base. Uh, so we'll just call this one body. And let's add another sphere. So we'll bring it up. And maybe we'll flatten this one and sort of do the same thing. So let's validate it. Let's use move. Uh, we'll use symmetry. You can see the the this one I didn't I didn't uh, adjust, so it's fine. And maybe if this is like the head of whatever this kind of creature is, let's Kind of spread it out at the top a little bit, maybe. Okay, I've got. I think that's kind of interesting. Let's give it a little tail. So we add another sphere. We'll bring it to the back, like this, and maybe let's flatten it and put it to the ground. So it can just be like a round, bushy tail. Let's validate it, or you can use move or drag. You can use symmetry, and if you want it to be like kind of a thicker tail, and you could even like pull it. You can even pull it up a little bit if you want it to like come off the like that. So obviously, you know, you can kind of make it however you want. Maybe you want to make it like smaller in this side, like those kind of like Mario raccoon tails. That's what it reminds me of. I can't remember what they were called. So let's, that looks pretty good. Let's smooth it out. Kind of get it a little more natural. And now we have to trim that as well. So let's trim. Make sure you're on the left side or the, or the right side. You just want to make sure that you trim it nice and even. Obviously we're on orthographic. Should have said that earlier. Oh, and you also want to be on the right, the correct uh, mesh. Otherwise you'll make a dum dum move like I just did and I don't know what I trimmed. Okay, so that looks good. Do the same thing. Box will remesh it at around 200. And just as a disclaimer, later on, you can go back and uh, decimate. That's here. You can decimate this stuff down to like lower. But now when you're working, the numbers are going to are gonna get kind of high. But that's okay. Especially because we'll probably remesh these together. 
and move them together. So let's just hit solo and we can smooth this out. Uh, make sure symmetry is on so it smooths the same on both sides. We can hit solo again. Okay, so now we had just have something really cute. Uh, you can give it some little arms or, or arm type things. So let's, what is going on here? It's gizmo, sometimes the bane of my existence. Okay, so let's mirror it. We don't have to mirror it yet, actually. Let's just validate it. So then let's use move with symmetry and we can sort of just like move it down but we can sort of spread out the bottom part and maybe we don't want this as spread out up here so we can do something like that we can move it over and you can take this one and you can put it in its own mirror so then you have both of them so i'm gonna val oh do i want to validate it i'll just go to the sphere so go to the sphere in the mirror and you can kind of just like smooth it out. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. You can use move and you can sort of adjust these. Maybe you want them a little bit more in the, in the body type thing. Like that, so you can adjust them. Maybe something like this is pretty good. Maybe you don't want them so like touching. So you can do something like that. You can adjust them to whatever. You can take symmetry off too. You don't really need symmetry if you want to put them like maybe like that. That looks pretty good. So you can add that if you would like. Uh, what else do we want to do for this little guy? Let's give him some ears. So yeah, what kind of ears do we want to give this rascal? Oh, I'm still on 90. Let's take it off 90. We can kind of rotate. Maybe we just want to do something like that. It's kind of cool. And for the rest of the face, maybe let's try to use like some sort of bold shape. Um... Uh, what, let's maybe use, let's try to use a cylinder. Let's see what we can do with that. So I'm going to snap forward. Take it off snap. Maybe we'll flatten it. I kind of like it. I kind of want it big though. So maybe we'll do something like this. Let's validate it and let's use round edge. If you don't have that, make sure you check out the video so you can make one. It's very simple. So maybe we'll do something like that. And, you know, let's do another one. Or let's take this one and clone it. Let's make that the nose. So we've cloned that cylinder. And maybe we can just like make it wider but smaller. And maybe we can use move to just like, uh, we can use symmetry and we can like push down. Maybe pull this part up. make it bigger you can place it anywhere you want maybe you want to turn it some more so the nose sort of like goes up you can always smooth smooth that so it doesn't really show it's kind of interesting okay so let's uh, let's try to finish this off so let's uh, let's take the head and let's voxel remesh it around like two, a little over 200. You can smooth it out a little bit. And now let's take layer with sub. I don't know, let's make something, let's just make like a mouth. Oh, sub. Okay, so we'll do something like that. We'll make it a little deeper. 
And maybe we'll take uh, this, this sphere here, or cylinder here. We'll turn symmetry on and just use drag. And maybe we can just drag that up like that. Oh, this is the, we can take this and drag it up too. Push that in a little bit, maybe. And also, let's take on the head. Let's use clay. And, oh, oh, that was weird. So let's tap that and make sure stroke painting is off. So we're going to use clay on the head. Let's just like add a little thing here. Like so. And also, let's use layer again. And let's just make an area for the eyes. Maybe we don't want really big eyes. Let's see, where do we want the eyes at? That's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll use dr oh, drag, but really small and sort of like make them a little more interesting if I can. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's use clay and let's kind of make some area around the eyes, eyebrows, I guess that's what you would call it. Let's take flatten and let's flatten out the tops of these. We'll validate them and then we'll just flatten out the top. I don't know why, but why not? Uh, and I just want to do a test. I don't know. This head might look actually better. Maybe drag is better. I just want to see what it looks like if I if I take this head and drag it out like this. And then take the body and then bring the body out a little bit. I don't know. It's weird, but I kind of like it. Don't, not really sure why, but I do. Okay, so this looks good. Let's take the nose and use a uh, layer. And let's see if we can make some sort of like nostrils. Wait, nostrils are for, it's supposed to look like a mushroom. That's how I think about nostrils. Let's voxel remesh it first, around 200. You can smooth it out, make sure symmetry's on. Let's use layer again, and it's supposed to be like a mushroom. Oops, I think I had it. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll make it a little bit deeper. So we'll do it a couple times, really get some depth in there for the nose. Okay, cool. I think that's cool. So let's uh, let's finish this off. So let's um let's take the that's the nose that's the snoot where's the head okay this is the head where are these where's the ears so let's um let's join these two for now we'll just call this head and now let's find the ears oh what is this oh those are the legs so let's take one of these out and just give it its own mirror. So now let's take, uh, those are the legs, so we can validate them and just call them legs. And then this one, these are the ears, so we'll validate them and call them ears. And let's voxel remesh them to the head. So let's do it at like two, two, a little bit over 200 is fine, two, 228, that's fine. So make sure symmetry's on and then just smooth everything. My favorite. And just smooth it, make everything nice and smooth. Nice and creamy. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. We're gonna do the same thing that we did in the other videos. We we'll use flatten, make sure symmetry is on. So we'll flatten this area over the eye. And uh, 
let's flatten this a little bit here. Now let's smooth it. Let's take crease. And let's add a crease here that goes, why is it always colored? So we'll add a crease here that goes to like line up with that part of the mouth. But actually, let's do it a little bit lower. Something like that is okay. The only thing is I don't like this line under here. So I'm going to make a cat being a rascal. There you go. I don't, I, want, I don't want the mouth to be... I don't want that line to be too... So I'm just gonna flatten where the mouth is a little bit. And we can actually drag that out maybe. Give him a little bit more of a, of, of a something down here. So we'll bring that out a little bit. Maybe we'll flatten it up or smooth it out a little bit. And we can flatten it again, very softly though. And also we can voxel remesh it again. I'll do it at like 240 just to kind of strengthen it up a little bit. And you can also, again, you can use pinch if this isn't like clear enough. So we'll pinch that line. Uh, we'll add some quick eyes. So we'll add some spheres. We'll bring them up. Mirror, let's make them small, put them in there. Just stretch them a little bit. There we go. It's kind of interesting. Let's take the nose and just smooth it. See how that's looking. A little crazy, but that's okay. And if you want, you can put some teeth in there. Um, I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll try really quick to put a few teeth in at least. Mirror. So at least we have like, at least we have a couple teeth in there. Okay, we'll validate those. So at least we have some teeth. And uh, I'll turn the environment off. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we'll go to lit PBR. We'll turn the environment off. We'll turn one light on. Let's paint this the same as everything else. We'll turn post process on. Then we have like just a random, interesting little, we'll turn the environment on, but low. A random, interesting little creature. So again, I might go into this and like color it and all that stuff, but uh, it's that easy to just make interesting little characters just by using shapes and just by voxel remeshing and using the tools. Uh, and I think that it really comes out fun and I really enjoy just kind of, uh, where's Pinch? I don't know, I just really enjoy making random things like this and just kind of seeing where it goes. Uh, I've always loved creating art like that. And sometimes I just come up with really, really cool stuff and I find it interesting. And then you can just continue to add details and add things that really make it interesting, you know? So I add, I usually add tools and then I'll smooth and it really becomes nice. Uh, just smooth everything else out. Even for the legs, you can make little toes pretty easily. If you want to just do them like this. Oh, let's turn symmetry on. You know, you can do things like that. And just find interesting ways to just, you know, make it, make it cool. That might be a cool print, just like 
colored. Maybe stick some marbles in there for eyes. So yeah, we'll see. So as you can see, I changed the nose. I just made it a sphere. So it's basically just a sphere and I just pressed down the top of it. And then I added some other spheres for teeth. And I think he's looking a lot better. I also decided to make the other legs, like the back legs. So uh, I just used a sphere that I tilted it and kind of squashed it. And this is the same thing. It's just another sphere sort of squashed. Oh, I wanted to show you, but it's being a little funny. So that's just like another sphere just squashed. And if you put them together, it looks like uh, a leg and a foot. So then I'll just take all of these and validate them. I'll go back to that color, paint them, and I can take trim. And I might as well put both of these together. Actually, you know what? I think it's fine. It's already together. So we'll just trim it. So we'll trim it and then we'll just voxel remesh it around 200. And then let's solo it. We can just smooth the bottom. And if it's being printed, I think that's fine. I like, I don't mind that little separation there. I think those lines will look nice. That doesn't look too nice. I probably could have not done that. Maybe I can use trim. Uh, trim and lasso with symmetry. Maybe this will work. Okay, guess you have to be on the body. Well, better than nothing. Smooth it out a little bit. Push these down. It's actually not terrible. That was gonna look a lot worse than that, but it actually looks passable. So there we go. You might, we might be able to actually push them together now. That would be nice. Maybe we'll just make them a little more round. Yeah. There we go. So I don't know what color I want him to be. The nose will probably be maybe like a dark color like that. Maybe the head and the body can be like a creamy kind of off-white sort of color. The legs as well. Eyes, we'll go with the glossy white for now. The nose. Give it a little bit of a shine. And then if we want to add some pupils, let's see how it looks. See if it looks good or bad. Mirror. We'll color this black so we can just see in real time what it's looking like. Small pupils, bigger pupils. Let me flatten that a little bit. Interesting. They look super creepy. I don't know why they look so creepy. I think it might be because the eyes are so far apart. But 
that's also like interesting challenges you know like maybe there's a way to make it look better if it would show me the gizmo pivot reset pivot there we go maybe we want to see like more eye Maybe the eye is too round. It needs to be flattened out. I'm just trying to match it up with the, the kind of flow of the face here, but we can also just take move Although that kind of looks kind of cool. Where are we at? Eyes. Let's use symmetry. Oh, never fails. Let's push the eyes in there. And you know what? Let's take drag on the face. Let's sort of let's do one of these. Where are those pupils? Where are those pupils go? Maybe this is them. What is this? I knew it was them. Pivot, reset, pivot. Why is it not resetting? There we go. I wasn't on sphere. He's looking crazy, but to me, it looks much better. Much stronger character. The eyes like that. They're still a bit, they stick out a bit too much. But let's change the pivot. Oh, maybe I don't have to. No, I do. Change the pivot so I can just kind of squeeze them that way. Although that's not great either. I might have to add new pupils. Since I don't know what I did with these. They're all funky. But anyway. I like it. It looks good. Am I on po I'm not even on post-process. Interesting. So did you ever have things like in your way and you want to work on something, but things are just in the way. So here is a, a way to do it. I think you can actually make things invisible, but I don't know how to do that, unfortunately. But this is what I do know how to do. So let's take the shape like I want to make the mouth. I want to put more depth in the mouth. So make sure you're on the mouth mesh and then just hit solo. Uh, it should be down here. I think if it's not there, it should be in one of these uh, shortcuts. Oh no, maybe it's always there now. I think that was an older version. So just solo it. And for example, I want to use layer. And let's say like I want to use layer to like go like this, but I don't want it to mess with that. So now I'm just going to turn it this way. Take select mask with the lasso. That just means I can kind of just make it put it wherever I want. So I'm going to go like this so I can protect that part. This part turns black. And now I can kind of just get in there. I can use layer and I can just add some, some depth uh, to the mouth. So if I want to make like a tongue or something like that, that would make sense. Also another cool way to do it. Well, it's not that cool, but it's kind of cool. Uh, go to, you can clear the mask, and then you can, let me turn up the lights. Let me turn up the lights a little bit, because it's awfully dark. Maybe I'll just try to do a, a matte cap. Nope. Nope. I shouldn't have already colored it. That's right. Well, you can also do a regular mask, and you can try to mask everything that you want. It's a little bit more tricky, 
with something like this because you don't want to get it on the on the nose part okay it looks like we got actually got it um but you can as long as you're on the mask you can do unmask and if you want to just like make sure that you didn't get any parts that you don't want you can just kind of do that and you can kind of erase it and then you can Go to your mask settings, invert, and then you can take the gizmo and you can move it back. And if you want it to like kind of open up, you can open it up like this way. And that gives you like a lot of depth for the mouth. So now I can like add a tongue and stuff in there. So then you just take your mask and you clear it. And then, yeah, now you have a lot deeper. So when I hit solo again, you see I have the teeth and everything. I still don't know why it's so, uh, oh, it's probably bright because of this. Because I turned the lights up. So now I have some room in there. So if I want to add a tongue, I can go ahead and add a tongue in the mouth. All right. That's it. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. And here, I think I'm finally finished. I think I like them, so I made a few more changes, obviously. Uh, I used a torus for this, for this like, little lip. And then I used crease and sub, the subtract for crease. And it makes a nice little crease there. Added some eye dots, changed the color of the eyes. Uh, these are just spheres that I sort of manipulated, like I always do. go yeah i like him i think he came out pretty cute and this again is just another sphere as well so i'm pretty happy with him i don't think i'm gonna do anything else but uh don't hold me to it